After using your phone, you may want to back up or transfer data on the phone to your computer. To do this, you'll need to use a micro USB to standard USB cable as shown here. First, locate the USB port on the computer. It should look similar to this. Plug the USB end of your cable into the USB port on the computer. Once you have done this, plug the micro USB end of the cable into your micro USB port on your device. This is the same port you use to charge your phone. Once your device and computer are connected via USB cable, this screen will appear with different USB connections. They are charge only, HTC sync, disk drive, internet connection mode, media sync, and internet pass-through mode. If you don't select a connection, it will default to charge only, and it will be displayed in the notification bar. Pulling down the bar and tapping on the USB connection option, you can easily change to another connection type. Selecting disk drive will connect the data stored on your phone to your computer just like a flash drive would. Once you've selected the connection type, tap Done. Now the Thunderbolt's memory is connected to the computer memory via USB. Now we'll show what you need to do on the computer end. As the key in the bottom right shows, left clicks will be displayed with a green effect and right clicks will be displayed with red effects. On your computer screen, this box will appear. Scroll down and tap Open Folder to View Files. If the first box didn't appear for you, you can also access it by right-clicking on the Start menu and tapping Explore Users. Here, scroll down to find the removable disk for the drive you plug the USB cable into. Here, all the folders on your phone are stored. Clicking on My Documents, I'll now access the voice notes that are stored on my phone that I want to back up. Here, I'll create a new folder to back up and transfer data to. A right click on the home screen will open this menu and scroll down to New and to the right to Folder. I'll name the folder Backup Today's Date. Now, I'll resize the folder to make dragging and dropping files easy. In the folder, I will create a subfolder for backed up voice notes. Opening the folder, you can now drag and drop the files to your new folder on the computer. Returning to the phones folder tree, I'll open my data folder to access written notes saved on my phone. Again, I'll create a new folder to store them in. and a quick drag and drop will back them up on the computer. Returning back to the file tree, I'll now access DCIM, so I can transfer all the pictures and videos on my device to my computer. Again, I'll create a new folder to transfer these to. Opening the folder, I'll now drag and drop my pictures and videos to the computer.
It may take a few minutes to transfer depending on how many pictures and videos you're transferring. Now that I've transferred and backed up everything I need to, I can close both windows from the phone and computer. Before you unplug your phone from the computer, make sure to right click on this icon and select safely remove. From this window, select USB mass storage device, then HTC Android phone USB device. Tap OK to disconnect. Once the computer and phone have safely disconnected, you can now unplug your device from the computer. Now, I can access the backup files and the pictures and videos I transferred.